This morning, as we all know, the weather in Connecticut can be certainly unpredictable and 2021 was proof of exactly that. Yeah, that weather certainly left an impact on many people throughout our state. Meteorologist Dan Amaranti taking a look back at the year and the wild weather in Connecticut. It was an active year for weather across the country with several major hurricanes, a nasty ice storm in Texas and huge wildfires out west. But here in Connecticut, we had one thing that stuck out when we think back to this year in weather, and that was the rain. This past summer, four separate tropical systems brought drenching rain, washed out roads and flooded many of your basements. Our year started off fairly quiet with some run of the mill snowstorms in early February, one of which dropped 8 to 15 inches of fluff. The winter was a mild one with snowfall right around average overall. In mid April, a late season storm led to beautiful scenes with snow on the spring flowers. But then as spring transitioned into summer, it got hot. The month of June was seemingly a continuous scorcher and came in at third hottest on record. That's when we had our hottest temperature of the year when the thermometer reached 99 degrees on June 29th. But then July arrived, and so did the rain. On July 9th, Tropical Storm Elsa brought gusty winds and a few inches of rainfall, along with some tropical humidity. That humidity didn't really break through July or August, as it seemed like every day just had steamy weather with a chance for afternoon showers. This summer, we picked up nearly two feet of rainfall, which had us in the lead for rainiest year on record at one point. And that leads us to the big story of the year. After more rain than wind from Tropical Storm Henri, a week later, the remnants of Hurricane Ida absolutely drenched the state on the night of September 1st. This water is rushing through this community right now, and it really shows no signs of stopping. What you're looking at right now was at one point a parking lot and ball fields, and almost impossible to make that out at this point. Henri and Ida have not been nice to Manchester. Anywhere between four and nine inches of rain fell that night. Connecticut State Trooper Brian Mole was killed when his vehicle was swept away by floodwaters in Woodbury. The cleanup in some towns took weeks as crews had to repair washed out roads and flooded basements. Things finally calmed down a bit with some quieter weather though in early fall. But the award for most bizarre weather of the year goes to Saturday, November 13th. Up until that day, there had never been a single November tornado in Connecticut's history. Well, that day, there were four. Although they were relatively weak tornadoes and thankfully led to no injuries, it was a reminder that we can get all kinds of weather here in New England. So hopefully 2022 treats us well, but it's important to be prepared for whatever the skies throw our way. Of course, we'll always have the latest forecast right here on Fox 61. I'm meteorologist Dan Amaranti.